What's up guys, this is Jay from COI. So, many of us are enjoying spending time with our family right now. It is that time of the year. Yet, there's a certain group in America right now that are in cages. That can't be with their family. And we don't care. Media are talking about impeachment. Um... Even the activists aren't talking about it. I feel like we did something already. Because ICE and the administration was forced to say that it's not going to be standard practice to separate children anymore. That doesn't mean they don't do it. It means it's not standard practice. But we feel like we had a win. Or maybe we just got tired of it. I don't know. But it seems like America has forgotten that we have concentration camps here. We have over 200 of them filled to the brim with migrants, with refugees from countries that are war-torn by drug lords and corruption. Corruption and drug lords that uh, America, in a lot of ways, is responsible for. I titled this video the next Holocaust. And it has to do with the fact that it could happen here. And it could happen here as a complete result of what we're seeing right now. Media moves too fast, we forget. We, uh, we move the, excuse my, my analogy here, but we, we moved the fist a little bit deeper in. Um, meaning we're not yelling at the top of our lungs. We're not writing to our Congress people about keeping these people detained for God knows how long, up to seven years in many cases, if not longer. We're not doing any of that. What's it going to take? Well, well, I myself reported that we're not vaccinating them, that the conditions are awful. I just did this a couple weeks ago. Mass media hasn't. Not even our progressive brethren, like Kyle Kalinske or Jimmy Dore, or any of those people are talking about it. Meh, it's old news. Is it going to be when they kill a couple of them? Is it going to be when torture, forced labor? Well, it can't be forced labor because that's already happening in a lot of these places. What's it going to be? Now, why I say specifically Holocaust is because I recently just saw a documentary and I learned a few things that I had no idea. Number one, the first German concentration camp was established in the 1920s. Yeah, like 10 years before we're even familiar with their usage. Um, and people were, were kept there. And it became a problem. The, the ma I wouldn't say majority, but a lot of German uh, people had a huge issue with these. And it caused a lot of conflict. So they got shut down for a while. Then they got reopened and people kind of forgot about them. And, well, it happens. And here's my other issue. <laughs> that really lines right up with, with what I'm saying here is some of these Nazis and SS members after World War II they were given psychological tests the psychologists didn't want to report that the Nazis and SS members and German nationals and just Germans in general were all normal they said they would have passed many tests. They would have been allowed into our military. They would have been allowed into our military and police departments today by some of these tests. And that makes you wonder, well, how, how did this happen? And it happened because 20 years prior, they set the standard that it's okay to put people in cages. 
and the Germans just kind of got used to it. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but what do you, what are you going to do? Then they pushed it a little bit every year, every couple years, until it just became a norm. And a lot of the German people didn't actually even know what was happening at the death camps. They did know about the concentration camps, but hey, there was no murdering going on, or at least they thought. It's depressing to think about the fact that that could happen here. I don't think it will. I really don't. Um, there's a huge difference in in time frame. I can't think of another Western co country that will ever be turned like that. But there is some interesting analogies. Um, for instance, when you compare some of the SS members, their statements, and you compare them with what ISIS people have said, they line up eerily close. Um, in fact, one of our uh, congresswomen went to a detention center and she talked about the atrocities and how horrible it was and that they should be shut down. The disgusting living conditions, the inadequate food, this is inadequate sanitation and inadequate of space. Then one of our right wing congressmen went and he said this was a tool by the left. These, these places are fine. This is just the left making a big deal out of nothing. And I bet you're thinking, I think I know what you're talking about. That was Steve King, right? No, actually, that happened in Germany in the 20s. And yeah, you'd be right. It also happened with Steve King and Ocasio-Cortez. Weird, right? I mean, almost completely the same thing. <clears throat> and when asked about the things that they're forced to do, ICE members have often said, look, I'm a parent too. This is pretty difficult. But the way I see it, they're safer in here. It's not a place of hatred. Because even the Nazis said, it's not like I want to do this, but it's what must be done. You can convince yourself to do horrible things when you don't see the forest for the trees. An analogy on this that I thought was very deep was if I gave you a very sharp knife and I paid you money to hurt somebody, would you do it? You'd probably say no. That's kind of ridiculous. But what if you're a surgeon? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and when you have this mindset that a lot of ICE members have, that a lot of the alt-right has. They don't enjoy hurting Mexicans and, and Southern American people and putting them in this kind of discomfort. And they even will say, well, it's not like we're going to their country and attacking them. They're asking to be here. It's not heartless to not want them in our country. Even though most of them know what they're trying to flee, most of them will admit that their countries are going through horrible atrocities right now, and they wouldn't go down there. But it's still not heartless to take them in. I got to worry about me. I have to take about. I have to take care of me and my family. You see, necessity. That's what I have to do. And you can convince yourself to do about anything. That's why I say. It's possible. I don't know how likely it would be, but it is possible. Anyway, guys, this is that time of the year, and I namely did this video because I myself have been slacking on reporting about ongoings at the border and in detention centers all around America. 
Let's make sure that this doesn't stay a standard in America. Remember who started it? It was Obama. Getting Trump out is not going to change anything. We have to change the entire political system. We have to make sure that this kind of actions are not acceptable anymore in America. And um, we have to remember to always keep our voices up. The minute we become complacent is the minute they push this shit on us. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. You have a wonderful holiday season. Take care.